Hello students, welcome to Abhi Law, where law is simplified. This is your Professor Dr. Ambarish R. Patnikere, retired additional municipal commissioner as well as director of Father Ignorance School of Law. Today, once again, we are going to talk about POXO. Till now, we had completed section 8 of POXO. Today, we are going to start from section 9. As you know, the first offense of POXO against the child we have studied, that was the... Uh, Penetrative sexual assault. After penetrative sexual assault, we came to another offense which was called an aggravated penetrative sexual assault. Both the punishments were different. Then we studied one more offense that was sexual assault. Now, today's video, we are going to talk about aggravated sexual assault. Now, in aggravated sexual assault, which is section number 9, we should understand that this section is also related with uh, section number 5. They are very much similar. They are very much similar. So, we are going to start on section number 9, aggravated sexual assault. Here, we have to understand that what is aggravated form. Aggravated form is nothing but this offense which has been done in a specific place or by a specific person or in specific location. Then this offense becomes in the, in the aggravated form. First, if it has been committed by the police officer. Now, where he should commit that offense? Sexual assault. We know what is sexual assault. Sexual assault is nothing but touching the vagina, penis, anus or breast of the child or make the child to touch the vagina, penis, anus or breast of such a person or any other person. This is called sexual assault. Now, what is the aggravated sexual assault? means a police officer in clause number A, section 9, clause number A, if a police officer commits sexual assault, then it is aggravated. And where he has to commit? In the police station or the premises where he is appointed or in the premises of any station house where whether or not situated in the police station to which he is appointed in course of his duty or otherwise. So, three things we should remember. What it said in the very first slide that it should be committed by a police officer. It has to be committed in the police station or the premises where he is appointed or if in police station other than where he is appointed or when he is on duty or otherwise. The fourth point it says that if he has been identified by the child that is a police officer. So, these are the four subclasses for clause A and if a police officer commits then it is become aggravated sexual assault. Let us go to Point number B, that is section 9B. Now, another type of person called armed forces. Either a person can be from army, navy or air force or any security forces. Okay. If they commit sexual assault within the area where they have been deployed or in any area under the command of the security or armed forces, then it is sexual assault. And the third part is in the course of his duty or otherwise. Fourth, where he is known or identified. Same like a police officer is the clause of armed forces. Now we will go to the third person. Third type of person, if he commits sexual assault, it becomes aggravated. That is public servant. So, whoever being a public servant, okay, if he does sexual assault, then it is aggravated sexual assault. Clause number D, whoever being on the management or the staff of jail, Demand home, protection home, observation home or place of custody, care and protection. So, wherever the children are taken, being taken care, if any person of authority or management or staff of that particular premises does commits a sexual assault, it is aggravated form. Next is E. If it is the hospital, whether it is government or private. So, if a child is admitted in the hospital or is in the hospital and if anybody commits this sexual assault and the person is from the management of the staff of the hospital, it is aggravated sexual assault. Now, we will go to the next category. Next category is management and staff of education institution, religious institution, commit sexual assault. If a child, if it is there in education institution or any religious institution, and if sexual assault is being done by the management and the staff of this institution, the, the form becomes aggravated sexual assault. Let us go to G. Whoever commits gang sexual assault. I mean there are more than one person. 
okay h sexual assault is committed on the child by showing deadly weapons or fire or any heated substance or coercive substance then the sexual assault will be in aggravated form next is j whoever commits sexual assault on the child okay who is physically handicapped mentally handicapped then also the sexual assault will become an aggravated form next is if there is any any thing which has been infected on the child especially like virus virus of aids and on then also it becomes aggravated sexual assault now k if the child is having mental or physical disability whoever taking advantage of a child having mental or physical disability also commits a aggravated sexual assault whoever commits sexual assault of the child more than once or repetitively again it becomes aggravated sexual assault let's come to sub clause m whoever commits sexual assault on the child below 12 years of age then again it is aggravated sexual assault you should remember what is the de- definition of a child child is below 18 years of age so if the child is above 12 years to 18 years then it is sexual assault so if the child is below 12 years automatically the sexual assault is in the form of aggravated sexual assault n if the relative of that child whether it is guardian or foster care or adopted if the child knows he has a domestic relationship with the person who has committed the sexual assault the accused then it become aggravated sexual assault next is whoever being in the ownership or the management and the staff of any institution okay providing services to the child there are institution which provide services to the child that particular institution can also if any owner or management or staff commits a sexual assault in that premises it is aggravated sexual assault what even if it is a coaching class okay it is providing a service to the child that also if sexual assault is been committed by any staff it will become aggravated sexual assault now next is if any person who is in the position of trust or authority of the child right so who is where the child trust the person he might be neighbor or he might be his uncle or auntie we don't know if they commit a sexual assault it is aggravated sexual assault whoever commits sexual assault on a child knowing the child is pregnant again that sexual assault will be converted into aggravated form whoever commits sexual assault on a child and attempts to murder the child again it is aggravated form of sexual assault next is whoever commits a sexual assault on a child in the course of certain circumstances like communal violence sectarian violence okay or during any calamity in such situation if sexual assault is been done it is also aggravated sexual assault next is whoever commits sexual assault on a child who has been previously convicted for the same offense then that person if he commits sexual assault it is the aggravated form next is whoever commits sexual assault on a child and make the child to strip or parade naked in public then the sexual assault is aggravated form whoever pursues or induces entices or coerces a child to get administered or administer or direct anyone to administer help in getting administered any drug or hormone or any chemical substance to a child okay now you should remember there are certain people who give drugs to the children for early sexual immaturity in such cases then that person has committed aggravated sexual assault now comes to the punishment part punishment of sexual assault which is aggravated the punishment should not be less than 5 years and may, may, which may extend to 7 years and also liable to fine i hope so everybody has understood aggravated sexual assault aggravated sexual assault is nothing but the base offense is sexual assault but if they are, they are committed by certain type of person certain location certain locality or to a particular child of a particular age or even in a particular situation then the sexual assault takes the form of aggravated sexual assault the punishment increase from 5 years then to which can be extended to 7 years and also with liable to fine i hope so with this we have understood our uh, section 9 and section 10 let's hope that we will come very soon with the next video and continue from section 11 and 12
Thank you so much.